In 1959, a TV show called Dennis the Menace hit the screens, featuring a young boy named Dennis who often caused chaos with his mischief. The show quickly became a favorite due to its humor and relatable characters. But there's more to this show than meets the eye. As we explore further, you'll find lots of interesting facts that will keep you entertained. What makes this show stand the test of time? Maybe it's Dennis's curiosity and love for adventure or the lessons learned in each episode. Whatever it is, this show has left a lasting mark on the industry. Do you have any fond memories of watching Dennis the Menace? Share them with us. Whether it's watching with family or acting out Dennis's antics with friends, we'd love to hear your stories. So grab your snacks and get ready for a journey through Dennis's world. Get ready for laughs, surprises, and maybe even a few tears along the way. This classic TV series from 1959 continues to offer timeless humor that holds up well. Viewers can appreciate the light-hearted and entertaining nature of each episode. The show's charm extends to a broad audience, making it enjoyable for various viewers. While some may find the simplicity of the original comic strip challenging to translate into a longer TV format, the sitcom succeeds in delivering consistent laughs. However, some viewers may perceive the plot as predictable, following a familiar path with each twist. The portrayal of the main character, Dennis Mitchell, played by Jay North, might not align with everyone's expectations. Some may feel that Dennis lacks the rough and ornery demeanor associated with the title menace. Opinions on North's performance may vary, and there are critiques about his meticulously styled blonde hair and the positioning of his cowlick. Overall, this show remains a light-hearted and enjoyable watch for those seeking classic sitcom humor. It may not appeal to everyone's taste, especially considering differing opinions on the portrayal of the main character. However, for fans of nostalgic TV, this series offers a glimpse into the comedic sensibilities of its time. Joseph Kearns, who portrayed the grandfatherly neighbor Mr. George Wilson, happened to be only 10 years older than Jay North's biological father, the actor playing Dennis Mitchell. The close age gap adds an interesting dimension to their on-screen dynamic. The TV series spans four seasons with a total of 146 episodes. Season one consists of 32 episodes, all airing on Monday evenings. The subsequent three seasons each comprised 38 episodes, totaling 114, and were broadcast on Sunday evenings. The math adds up to the overall episode count of 146. As a side note, Jay North's father and Joseph Cairns, despite the slight age difference, successfully portrayed the intergenerational relationship between Mr. Wilson and Dennis. It's worth mentioning that in an American Film Institute poll, a notable figure related to the series, Howard, expressed a personal favorite film, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. These insights provide a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes details and the production timeline of the show, offering a more comprehensive understanding of its context. Dennis the Menace from 1959, known for his mischievous adventures, had a multifaceted career. He appeared in three films written by Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale 1941, Used Cars, and Back to the Future Part Roman III. These films were also directed by Zemeckis. He began his acting career at 17 under the tutelage of actor Richard Bennett. George Wilson calls Alice Mitchell Alice and refers to Henry Mitchell as Mitchell. Dennis the Menace remains a beloved character. Dennis the Menace, a TV series from 1959, featured Gail Gordon, an actress known for her Broadway fame. More than three decades after gaining recognition on Broadway, she reprised her role as Nurse Preen in a special TV version of The Man Who Came to Dinner. In this adaptation, Orson Welles took on the role of Sheridan Whiteside, replacing the late Monty Woolley. Gail Gordon's theatrical journey began in the late 1920s and early 1930s at the St. Louis Little Theatre, where she showcased her talent in various productions such as Allison's House, Cock Robin, and The Good Fairy. She also had the privilege of sharing the screen with comedy legends towards the end of their careers. Gail acted alongside Lou Costello in his final film, The 30-Foot Bride of Candy Rock, before his passing due to a heart attack. Decades later, she appeared in Lucille Ball's final TV episode of Life with Lucy. Lucille passed away three years later due to an acute aortic aneurysm. Dennis the Menace, a TV show from 1959, had a character who survived the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Charles Lane, famous for his role in the series, was honored by the Screen Actors Guild in 2005, naming January 30th as Charles Lane Day. 
Kathy Najimy, and Wendy Makina appeared in Lady Souls' If My Sister's in Trouble music video as their sister act characters. These examples show how the series and its actors continue to influence popular culture. Dennis the Menace, the TV series from 1959, featured a leading co-star, a pert and pretty blonde American actress. She had previously appeared in many B-Westerns and crime dramas during the late 40s and early 50s. Later, she played Jay North's squeaky clean mom on the sitcom. Following the late 1960s, he ended his acting career and moved to Santa Cruz, California, becoming a real estate investor broker. Lane's mother, Alice, also lived a long life. She passed away in 1973 at the age of 99. Dennis the Menace, the 1959 TV series, featured notable actors in its cast. Joseph Kearns portrayed George Wilson, and Herbert Anderson played Henry Mitchell. Despite their characters seeming to be of different generations, Kearns and Anderson were only 10 years apart in age when the series began. Kearns was 52, while Anderson was 42. Additionally, Charles Lane made appearances in The Donna Reed Show twice, one of which was Season 2, Episode 10, All Mothers Worry, released on November 15, 1959. Although Lane appeared in the show, he was not credited for his role. The series also had connections with other shows of the time, adding depth to its cultural impact. Dennis the Menace, a beloved TV show, is well remembered in the world of entertainment. Notably, the actress who played Mrs. Martha Wilson also taught a class on funny acting at the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco. While working on another show, Father Dowling Mysteries, she spent time volunteering at Denver General Hospital. Tommy Bond, a familiar face on the show, had a previous connection with Mrs. Wilson. He was a regular on her radio program in the 1930s. These behind-the-scenes connections add depth to the show's history and the people involved. The lasting popularity of Dennis the Menace isn't just about the main character's mischief. It's also about the talented individuals who worked on the series, both in front of and behind the camera. Their efforts still connect with audiences today, leaving a memorable impact on television history. The TV series from the late 1950s, famous for its portrayal of a mischievous yet lovable young boy, has connections and memories that go far beyond its original airing. One interesting aspect is the involvement of people associated with the show in a group called A Minor Consideration, which looks out for the well-being of child actors during and after their careers in the entertainment industry. This organization, started by Paul Peterson, focuses on giving guidance and help to those who became famous at a young age, making sure they have the support they need for a successful transition into adulthood. Another important detail is about the final resting place of one of the show's cast members, who is buried at Forest Lawn in Glendale, California. The burial site, located in the Whispering Pines section at the top of the hill, serves as a peaceful and respectful memorial for the person honoring their contribution to the entertainment world and preserving their memory in a dignified way. Additionally, the thoughts of Charles Lane, an experienced actor with a successful career, provide insight into the professional respect and admiration shared among peers in the industry. His praise for Daisy Arnaz as the best actor he ever worked with, saying Daisy was a fine actor, emphasizes the high quality of performers who played a part in the entertainment world during that time. Such compliments remind today's audiences of the skill and dedication of actors from earlier generations adding to the rich history of television. These aspects of the series and the people associated with it show the broader significance and lasting impact of the show going beyond its initial run. The commitment to supporting child actors, the recognition of individuals' contributions, and the professional admiration among peers all highlight the lasting importance of the series in the lives it touched.